everybody and welcome to Children's Liturgy for the first Sunday of Lent. And you'll notice we have a purple cloth on our gospel table today because purple is the liturgical colour for the season of Lent. So let's get ready then to begin today's Children's Liturgy and have a little think about that season of Lent. We'll welcome Jesus into our hearts now everybody and we'll make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're now in the season of Lent, and Lent began on Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday was just a few days ago on Wednesday, and that is the day that marks the very start of Lent. And Lent is a time of us growing, growing in love for God, and growing closer and closer to God. And it's a really special time for us all when we can think about trying to pray more and trying to give more of ourselves and sometimes a little bit of going without to try and help ourselves to grow closer and for our love to grow even stronger for God. So a really special time indeed. And in today's gospel, we hear about Jesus spending 40 days in the desert going without food and water, spending time in prayer and growing closer to God. And that is what we are all doing in the time of Lent, spending time in prayer to try our best to grow closer and closer to God. It's a really special time indeed. And today, instead of listening to the gospel today, we're going to listen to a reading from Genesis, from the Old Testament. And I have a little clue on our table here. Lots of you might have heard of Noah's Ark, which you can see, and we have the animals in two by two on our table here. We're going to listen to a little bit of the story of Noah. God was sending a flood, and we're going to hear about what happens with Noah. It's some very good news, because remember that God is a very loving God. So let's get ready now to listen to that. We're not going to sing the hymn that we usually sing because we don't sing that hymn during the time of Lent. So it's all a little bit different today, but still just as special. So let's listen now to this reading from Genesis. And it says, God told Noah. Here's Noah. God told Noah, build an ark and fill it with pairs of every sort of animal so that they will multiply again. Take plenty of food for them and your family because I will send enough rain to flood the world. Noah did everything that God had commanded. The rain began and it carried on night and day until all the land had disappeared under the mighty waters of the flood. Everything was destroyed except for Noah and the animals who were all safe in the ark. After many days, Noah sent out a dove and it returned to the ark carrying a shoot from a young olive tree in its beak. Noah gave thanks and praise to God as the floodwaters began to disappear. And then God said this, I will make a promise never again to send such a flood. And as a sign of this promise, I will put a rainbow in the sky. What a special promise from God. He promised never to destroy the world and as a symbol, as a sign of his promise, he put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. And that is a wonderful message of good news for us on this first Sunday of Lent. God keeps his promises. God loves us all so much and he wants us all to love him too. And he is such a wonderful and awesome and loving God who keeps his promises. And this gives us such encouragement and joy on this first Sunday of Lent. Encouragement to keep our own promises. Because lots of us in Lent have a think about making a promise 
for God to try and grow closer to him. Lots of you might think of a promise to maybe say some more prayers or a promise to be a little bit more helpful or to take a bit more care of other people. There's lots and lots of lovely things that we can do in Lent to try to grow closer to God. And how wonderful knowing that God keeps his promises to us too, because he loves us so much. So today I thought we could have a go at making our own little rainbow, just like the rainbow that God placed in the sky, showing that promise that he was going to keep. And I've written on the rainbow, God keeps his promises in colourful writing. It's all right if you don't have all these, all these different colours of paper at home. I just used some of the scraps that I had left. But you can, of course, use felt pens or colouring pencils. Make your very own rainbow that reminds you that God keeps his promises. What a wonderful message to carry in your heart. Doesn't God love us all so much? It's wonderful, isn't it? And on the back... If you would like to, you may have done one already, but if you haven't, then have a little go at writing or drawing a picture of a Lenten promise, a promise that you are going to make to God to try to grow closer to him and have a chat with the people at home and with your grown-ups about what you think you can do to grow closer to God this Lent. It's a wonderful time of growing in love for God what a special time indeed. And now let's sing a song. This one is to the tune of London Bridge is Falling Down. And the words are, God keeps his promises because he loves us all. God keeps his promises, promises, promises. God keeps his promises because he loves us. And then we can sing. We will keep our promises, promises, promises. We will keep our promises. We love Jesus. Well done, everybody. A little song about keeping promises. And now let's finish our liturgy with a little prayer. Let's join our hands and you can say it after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. We know that God loves us and always keeps his promises. We know that God loves us and always keeps his promises. Help us this Lent to keep our special promises that we have made in our hearts. Help us this Lent to keep our special promises that we have made in our hearts. Amen. And we'll finish with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's go now and carry that message in our hearts that God keeps his promises. What a wonderful God we have indeed. And we're going to spend Lent growing closer and closer to God. Isn't he wonderful? Bye for now, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe and God bless.